Winter's claw has certainly taken the flesh away from the trees. There's still some leaves hanging on, but I'll come into the local woods again and it's certainly more about the form and structure of the trees rather than the colour. And again, I've been blessed by mist. I said being blessed by mist, I've took opportunity. The fact that it's a Sunday morning, luck is in again. And I've just been wandering around and what's attracted me um, is, as I said before, just the different wonderful forms and structures of these old woodlands. And you can make a good composition by use of the right crop as yet I'm still undecided but I'll show you those uh, in a minute the, the images in a minute and the, the different crops probably work with a one to two crop a square crop we will have to see but I tell you what it really is a wonderful place as with a lot of woodland photography for me this year it has become more about the creating interesting patterns in the frame more than a traditional approach of finding a focal point and adding depth. By taking this approach I've enjoyed my woodlands more, finding interweaving branches and angles that offer some form of symmetry or relationship with each other. I'll show the gallery at the end but let's not be mistaken, the fog provided a helping hand. But is this the good side of 2020? The year where all our woodland photography improves because we're given more opportunity. I tell you what, I've certainly enjoyed it. Mist does help, don't get me wrong. And it's difficult, in my opinion, without mist. Yeah, you can get the light, but it's still harder. It just creates that nice ethereal look doesn't it anyway, I want to create the right mood so I walked up from the woods to higher ground, it's quite open ground, hoping to get something because the mist is still here. So I'm looking at a nice copse of trees, but nothing's really taken me fence there. Until I came across this, you can probably just see, see that there. There, see that? Quite fancy that, quite like that. So I'm gonna have to play around with it. I might have said this before, but I could do the, a good telephoto lens <sighs> next year, probably next year. So I'm going to walk up close. I've still got me uh, 24 to 105. See what I can do. Um, toying with the idea of going a wider angle, including the green uh, diagonal of the grass. But that'll include the sky, I don't know, I'll just play around with it. It's been a good morning anyway. Um, I keep thinking the mist is going to go as it usually does, but I do think it's coming back a bit. <sighs> Problem is, I've only booked out a morning session with the missus. I need to get back and uh, put some, put a curtain pole up. 
God, I lead an exciting life. Anyway, let's see what I can do with this. It's not actually going to work. I've walked a bit closer. Still at the longer end of the focal length, but then realised there's some uh, posts sticking up, just getting in the way. Let me just show you. Let's see that. This can just, uh, yeah, bring things back to front. But I like how the uh, this tree overhangs. It's, it's nice, but just can't get the right angle. Right, I'm going to head back into the woods. There might be something else. There's lots of people entering the woods, including lots of yappy dogs and things. Just obstacles, that's all. Okay, right, so I'm going to show you the gallery. Hope you enjoy it. Till next time, keep smiling. Reap the benefits of the lockdown. Try to get some positive out of these uh, strange times. Right, look after yourself, keep smiling. Bye-bye for now.